Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well. Pisces, thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subs, just everything you guys do to the channel. It's greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, I am going to slap down some holy water. The windows are open. I do have a fan on, so that is part of the noise. The cicada noise is not that loud, but you will hear cicadas. And apparently the cicadas have some kind of like fungal infection and they're super, their mating pattern, it's weird. It's a, I could probably get into a long drawn out story maybe after I do the reading because I don't want to carry on to the beginning. So I'll talk about this, it's funny because it, you're going to laugh. So. I'll share the cicada story after I get done reading the tarot. So, you can stick around for that. But right now, let's do what we gotta do here, baby. Yeah. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're gonna check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you, like I always say. It could very well be your own energy. Mm. Sexy energy, too. Uh -huh. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit it together. Uh, like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Went to Indiana yesterday with my buddy to drop off his daughter at summer camp. And then he went and did some covered bridges. I didn't get home until midnight last night. It was a long day. A long, long day. Whew. Show me the energy of the person, my be Okay, right on Donkey Kong. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Let me just... Bad, but I'm just gonna put that on. Mm -hmm. Show me the energy of the person. Okay, let's go top to bottom on that one. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? We've got a whole multitude of cards that just flew on out today. So, we'll take them. That's fine. Well, well, well. Well, we've got the divine pair on the table here. We've got the emperor and the empress. So, maybe you guys are already married. The emperor and the empress. You could be widowed. I don't know. The emperor and the empress... They stay together, loving you with love, with love, love. So, anyway, they stay together, and they usually become the widow or the widower, or whatever, how you say that. Okay, nine of cups, nine wands, five cups, two of cups. So, looks like you might be getting asked out. Somebody's feeling, uh, somebody's regretting something here. There's an energy of I want to surrender, and obviously this person feels a strong connection to you. So, what are we going to clarify first? My goodness. Okay, we're going to talk to the Emperor first. Goodness, this is going to be a juicy reading. Emperor, why are you here? Okay. Why is the Emperor here with the Page of Pentacles? Why is the Emperor here with the page Okay. Okay, the Emperor is here because looks like the Emperor here. They could be traveling, learning new things, but something something has been learned here. They have been learning something here. Very powerful with the world. So what have they been learning here with the world here? Okay. 
I feel like this person is learning a lot about maintaining their balance in life in general. That's literally the energy that I'm getting. Hi, Bailiff. Hi, baby brother. So, yeah, I feel strongly here that this person is like, I've just been learning about how to keep balance in my life. Okay, well, good for you, Mr. Emperor. So, your Emperor here has been learning about how to keep their life balanced. Okay, very weird. Let's talk to the Empress. <laughs> well, I never know what's going to come out. Why is the Empress here? Okay. This is funny. Because you both are learning something here. Okay? They've got the page, or whoever. You could be the emperor here. So maybe you're the emperor. You're learning about how to maintain balance in your life. And maybe your person here uh, is the empress. And they're learning about critical thinking here. Okay? So what is this critical thinking this empress has been learning here? What's going on here? Critical thinking. Okay. So, if you're the Empress, you've been using critical thinking to master your money skills. Okay? So, I don't know who's who here. So, you're going to know who you are. Maybe you could be both body and both of these energies. I don't know. Okay. So the Empress has been using critical thinking to have a financial come up. And the Emperor here has been learning how to maintain balance. When it comes to, it could be money too. So maybe you both are buried, okay? And your, your person's the Emperor. And they're about learning how to maintain balance within their financial life. And maybe you're the Empress, and you've been using critical thinking to learn how to make more money. Very interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's this regret in this person's energy? What's this regret in this person's energy? What's this regret in this person's energy? What do they regret with the King of Swords? This person regrets, looks like they cut you off. Okay, maybe they cut you off financially too, but I don't think so. I feel like they cut you off, and as a result of cutting you off, this person is feeling very lonely. So, we're going to find out why this person cut you off. So why did this person cut Pisces off? Why did this person cut Pisces off? Because they were upset. What were they upset about? What were they upset about? What was this person upset about? Top to bottom, why was this person upset? What were they upset about? There was something here unexpected that had happened. So what was unexpected that happened here for why they cut Pisces off? What was unexpected that had happened for why they cut Pisces off? <clears throat> okay. There was something here that they were afraid of. Something here that they were afraid of. Something unexpected here had happened with the moon. And they cut you off. So what happened under the moon energy? What happened under this moon energy? It's like they made some kind of impulsive... Something, something here happened. Impulsive. What was this impulsive thing that had happened under the moon energy? What was this impulsive thing that had happened under the moon energy? What 
There was some kind of overindulgence here. I don't know in what. That's a very weird energy, though. There was some kind of overindulgence here. And it's like they made an impulsive action here just to, just to take back their energy. They needed some time off. So they cut you off because they basically needed time off. Man, all those cards for that? <clears throat> this person is very, very secretive here. That's apparent. So, they're throwing in the towel here. There's a surrendering energy. What are they wanting to surrender here? <clears throat> what are they wanting to surrender? Well, they're wanting to surrender their love to you. That's what they want to do. They're like, I give up. I want to surrender my heart to you. My goodness. What am I going to entitle this reading? <laughs> I hate coming up with titles. I really do. I'm not very good at it. Okay, so what's going on with the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. Top to bottom, Knight of Cups. Top to bottom, Knight of Cups, please. Top to bottom, Knight of Cups. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? So, they want to surrender their heart to you, okay? We know this. So, whether they do that or not, this person has their own free will. They could literally get to the door and they could shimmy shimmy chicken out here, all right? Because I do see a little bit of a chicken shit kind of energy here. But, whatever the case is, they're coming in with big feels, right? Wanting to ask you out. But then they put on their superwoman costume, and then they're like, Hey, Pisces. Hi. Before they were like, oh, I want to ask Pisces out. And then they're like, oh, I'm just going to put on my superwoman outfit now. And, uh, hey, Pisces, how, how are you doing? What you up to? So, oh, God, this person. Oh, God, I'm glad I don't have no makeup on yet. I'm just like, or makeup on, period. I'm not putting any on now. Ugh, I'm rubbing my face. This is frustrating. So, it's like they want to ask you out, but then instead they're just like shooting a text message, a small message, or calling you, just kind of checking in and on you. They want to surrender their heart, though. My goodness, surrender their love. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to even say on this. <laughs> Good Lord. So, let's talk to the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. I just play cool. Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Now I want to go to sleep. Two of Cups. Why are you here, Two of Cups? Yeah, they're coming. They're coming towards you here. No question about it. But they're feeling heavy. This person's feeling heavy emotionally even. Okay. So where are they coming here with the two of cups and the ten wands here under this heavy energy? Clearly... There's something bothering them that you, like, you offered them something that they didn't want. And they're clearly bothered by it. So what did, the, what did Pisces offer this person that they didn't want? What, 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 and it's bothering them. What they didn't want. What is this Eight of Wands for what they didn't want? What's this Eight of Wands for what they didn't want? What's this Eight of Wands for what they didn't want? What's the Eight of Wands for what this person didn't want? Eight of Wands with this what this person didn't want. Goodness gracious. Ah. You cut them off. You cut them off. 
And it happened fast. So they're coming to you. They're bothered. They're surrendering their love. And it's like they're feeling heavy about you just straight up. It happened fast all of a sudden. So maybe when they did this little breaky break thing here that they wanted to take. And then they come back around. You were just like, I ain't having it. Sucker. Nope. You weren't having it either. My goodness. So, they're coming back around here. Alright, Pisces. This person. And they could really, they could, like I said, they could chicken out too. They could get right to the edge of the seat. And then they're like, oh, oh God, I don't think I can do this. But it seems like they cut you off here. Something happened. Okay. And it was like, then they come back around. Oh my goodness. You both. What in the world? And I don't even know. I think I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to leave this one here. Because this is... This is Bejesus Buttwinkle's crazy. I need to come up with a clever title too. Besides Jesus Buttwinkle's. <laughs> Tarot's adjourned. <laughs>